Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning to you. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities and Happy New Month to you. How was your night? I hope you slept well because I did. Hallelujah. I did sleep well. Um, welcome to another edition. And today is Thursday, 2nd of June 2022. And today's topic is the deity of Christ. Praise the Lord, the deity of Christ. So before we start this morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We all know you this morning for who you are. We thank you for your protection. We thank you because you are the giver of life. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercy that prevailed over judgment. We thank you for your grace that makes a difference in our world. We are gathered this morning to listen to your word because your word works. As we meditate on your word, we thank you for guidance to your truth. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. And today's topic is the deity of Christ. Praise the Lord. John 5 18 says, Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him. Hallelujah. Because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. That's John 5 verse 18. And our man of God continued. Until you discover who Jesus really is, you can't walk with him. Praise the Lord. Jesus is hard to deny. He is the Lord God. The very thought of his blows, the very thought of these blows my mind. No wonder the Jews had difficulty accepting him. They accused him of making himself equal with God because he said God was his father, praise the Lord. They knew that when someone says God is my father, it doesn't mean God gave birth to them. It doesn't mean God gave birth to that person, praise the Lord. Because God is his spirit. They understood what Jesus was saying. He himself was Jehovah in human manifestation, praise the Lord. In John 10, he made another staggering declaration that made them angrier. Praise the Lord. He said, I and my father are one. In other words, we are one and the same. Praise the Lord. If you have seen me, you have seen the father. Now the Jews got really crazy and they took up stones again to stone him. But Jesus interrupted them and asked, Many good works have I showed you from my father, for which of those works do you yet stone me? They replied, For a good work we stone thee not, but, but for blasphemy, and because that, and because that thou being a man maketh thyself God. John 10, 32 to 33. Notice the two charges brought against Jesus. Hallelujah. The first one was blasphemy for saying God was his father. The second was robbery. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because being a man, he made himself God. He was therefore condemned with robbers. Hallelujah. But the Bible says in Philippians 2 verse 5 to 6, Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ, who be in the form of God, taught it not robbery to be equal with God. Praise the Lord. This verse was a direct response to the Jewish charge against Jesus that he was a thief for declaring himself to be equal with God. Praise the Lord. Jesus didn't think he was robbing God by being equal with God because he was born in form of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Greek word for form is mophi. Praise the Lord. Which means nature. In other words, he was in the very nature or essence of God. Hallelujah. Though he looked like a man, he was in the form of God in essence. Jesus is God. Praise the Lord. This is one of the cleverest communications in the New Testament about the deity of Jesus Christ. His claim to deity is right. Hallelujah. 
deity of Christ. That's the topic for today, perhaps to be born for anything. And today we get to understand that Jesus himself was indeed God, praise the Lord. He came as a human to die for us. Hallelujah. To bring us closer because God is an holy God. Hallelujah. In order for, for him to answer us, in order for, for him to hear our prayers, in order for him to intervene in our situation, he has to come and die for us. What greater love is this? Praise to Lord. And today, thank God we have no ignorance of the truth. We got to understand this today. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. And we glorify God for making himself a man. Hallelujah, to die for us. This is the ultimate love. Hallelujah, ever seen. Praise to the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a wonderful topic this morning. Hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the professions together. Lord Jesus, you are the great God of glory and the complete embodiment of deity. Thank you for revealing your divine personality to me i celebrate your lordship and rulership over my life and over all creation you are the most high god and you alone are worthy of all praise i worship you and adore you in jesus mighty name we pray amen for that study you can look at titus 2 verse 13 and first timothy 3 16 Colossians 1 15 to 19 and Colossians 2 verse 9. I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional and I want to use this opportunity if you're here, you've not given your life to Christ, it's an opportunity for you to do so because your path is really simple because Christ has already died for you. He has paid for your sin. Your past does not matter anymore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. With God, your past does not count. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you're here, you want to do so, all you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe it on my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am my child of God. Hallelujah. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are my child of God. Glory to God. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. God bless you. Today we got to learn that Jesus himself is God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. So before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you, we honor you. We thank you for your kind words this morning. And thank you for your love that you shed abroad in our hearts. And thank you because we got to know today of your deep love you have towards us. Thank you for blessing our going out and our coming in today. Thank you for making every crooked way straight in our hearts. Thank you for our daily bread. Thank you for your great provisions in our lives. Thank you for your grace that has lifted up us up above our contemporaries. Father, we give you all the praise. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous day. I will see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. And once more, happy new month to you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Please share, like, and comment. God bless you. Bye.